Cordoba. Home to a remarkable inventor, Abbas Ibn Furness. Astronomer, engineer, inventor. He's invented a water clock, a planetarium, a magnifying glass. Now he'll risk his life for a new invention. A thousand years before the Wright brothers, he wants to fly. An extraordinary experiment in an extraordinary city. Cordoba is home to half a million Muslims, Christians, and Jews. In Europe's dark ages, a beacon of tolerance and learning. 37 libraries, the knowledge of mankind, much of it rescued from ancient Greece and Rome. What one wonders about is if Islamic scientists had not played this role of nursemaid to science, how would we have gotten here? Because in the West, we had lost that with our dark ages. How would science have survived in the West if it had not been for the Islamic scholars? Ibn Furness is fascinated by the laws of flight and has built his own flying machine. What an extraordinary thing to try to do. This crazy guy was willing to jump off a building to improve the state of human knowledge. By guiding these wings up and down, I will fly. If all goes well, after soaring for a time, I will return safely. Accounts of the time report. He attached a couple of wings to his body, and from a great height, flung himself into the air. Flew a considerable distance, as if he had been a bird. But without a tail, he can't control his descent. He'll suffer back pain for the rest of his life, but he enters the historical records, the first human to fly. This willingness to risk life and limb for knowledge is one of the things that has really brought humans to where we are today. We wouldn't be here if people weren't constantly willing to push and experiment and really risk everything just for a hunch.